Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Samsung DeX videos. So in this, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. So sometimes what I've realized is that when I get this error, error on my um, Samsung phones or any Android phone, then I can't really, it's, it's not an easy fix. As you can see there, process system isn't responding. So I'm going to show you an easy tutorial on, on how to fix this when you get this error on a Samsung phone. Um, currently, I'm, I'm getting this on my Samsung DeX. Uh, here is my Samsung phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. I have my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus connected, connected to the Samsung DeX, DeX dock. And then I have a keyboard, mouse, speakers, and more monitor connected to my phone. And then everything is, everything is displayed here. So let's go ahead and try to fix this by just simply saying close app. As you see, nothing happens. I'm clicking here, but I, I can't click anywhere. So this basically... And basically, what process system means is, is that is that something isn't um, isn't um, isn't talking correctly with the um, um, hardware. And an easy way to fix this into is to go into safe mode and to try to to um, fix it by safe mode or to just restart the phone. But you can't really restart the phone because if let's say for instance I hold in the power button, then now now the um, power off and restart here, but I can't press it because this is in the way and so it's going to just restart like that so let's actually exit the um galaxy the samsung dex mode just put the phone a bit ah. okay i almost dropped the phone let's put the phone back into the thing let's point it down Okay, it's uh, okay. So here's a phone now, and let me just fix this a bit. As you can see on the phone, there it still has the process error there. Let's focus a bit. As you can see there, very very small, tiny. That's the uh, just focus. Okay, if you can see there, it says process system isn't responding. Oh, come on, work. <laughs> it's not focusing close now. Okay, there you can see it now. Process system isn't responding. It's very small, but it says it there. And let's zoom out. Can't actually press on it at all. It doesn't doesn't want to press on it. And when we try to um, restart the phone by holding the power button, we can't actually turn off the phone or restart it. Okay. So easy way to fix this then is to use the soft reset or the restarting your phone with, with just the uh, um the physical buttons. And the easy way to do that is just simply holding the power button and the volume down button. Um, together until the phone restarts. This works on on most on most Android phones that that I tested. I tested this on about ten different Android phones and it works on all of them. See so holding the power button and the uh, um, volume down button. Basically, wait, before we, before I do that, basically you can't use the phone at all. Nothing works. I can maybe log into my phone by using the um, the the other scanner and the facial recognition. So let's log off, log on, and then it sees me. And it logs in, but I still can't do anything yet. Phone does that doesn't work at all. I can maybe go into the camera. As you see, the camera works, but I can't do anything in the camera. It's still stuck. I can use the hardware or the hard, hard, hard um, home button to go back, but I can't. The phone is stuck. The touch screen basically that doesn't work. So let's now um, re um, restart the phone with just the physical buttons, and then and then this should fix the um, process system isn't responding error. So it's um, power button and volume down button. So I'm holding it in now. Then takes a screenshot because as is that that's the screenshot button. But just keeps holding the um, power button and the volume down button. And boom, the other phone is now busy restarting.
Okay, so the first thing I've now completely restarted. Let's type in my password. Swipe up. Okay, so I entered my password now, and now I'm into the phone again. Now I can use the phone again normally as you would expect. Everything works now again. So that's that. So that's the easy way to fix the um, problem. The other way, the other way would just simply be um, to remove the battery. For instance, some phones like like that, like this LG. If the if you have a process um, sy or a system process isn't responding, then you can simply remove the battery because a bunch of phones has the ability to remove the battery. So when you when so when you remove the battery, then that should fix it. If you can't remove the battery, then the best thing to do is you just simply wait until the battery until until your battery is completely um on zero percent, and then you can just um charge the phone again and then turn the phone on. But but but, but it should be completely completely on zero percent because you'll need the phone to be off completely. And that and then that, and then that that might fix it as well. If it doesn't fix it, then it, then there are different ways to do it as well. Um, and those ways are um, to basically go into your um, phone safe safe mode settings, which I have a, which I have a video on, or not going to safe mode, but going to the the um, booting menu and then clear the phone cache, and that should fix it as well. Uh, I'm not going to show, show that right now because I, I don't want to do it with my phone now. And um, then the third way to do it is just simply remove the SD card. Sometimes the SD card also causes problems with it, so you can try removing the SD card. That might also fix it. And then the last way to actually do to, to attempt to fix this is to simply um, wait. I've got I have a website here. Let's see. Okay, yes. Um, let's say your phone your phone is rooted as well. Then then you should try and and un unroot your phone. And sometimes um, it, this also happens when your phone is rooted. So try to um, unroot your phone, and that might also fix the problem. And that's about it, guys. But I think the the easiest way is, is just simply restart your phone and or remove your battery. That's the easy, easiest way to fix this. And um, about 99% of the after, after time that will fix the problem. If it, if the problem still persists, then just simply take your phone to your to a, to a computer or phone repair shop and let them fix it for you. So it's, it's, it's as simple as that. So yes, guys, that's basically it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you would, if, you would, if, you would, if you would like to see any other um, Samsung Dex videos like this or videos, then okay, let's actually first put the phone into the Samsung Dex again to see if everything works. But everything should work. So the phone's in and should appear there now. Samsung Dex. But yes, guys, if you, if you like to see any other videos like this. Then make sure to comment down below and tell me what you what you would like to see, and then I'll make it. So yeah, something next working again. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure exactly why the error um keeps appearing on my phone, for instance. And uh, this is like the fifth time it appears on my brand new Samsung Galaxy S9 S9 Plus. Um, what I read online is that it, ap it appears mostly on older phones, and I don't have an old phone because this phone is brand new. It's only out for like three weeks now, and I have the phone. I've had the phone for like two weeks now. Um, but apparently it seems that it's a problem where some apps or software doesn't um, talk correctly with the hardware and yeah but yeah so that's, 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 and, and when it happens you can't use the phone at all and the easy way to fix it is just simply go into your um, phone and restart the phone I just actually, actually show myself at myself so yeah thank you for watching guys and I will see all of you in the next video bye bye I can't even see me. Bye-bye.